So ladies and gentlemen, give a huge round of applause for Tim Cadman. Time. Hi, good evening. I'm Tim. Before I start, I'd just like to uh, thank my wife for all the support. Uh, she's actually here tonight. Can you give a little wave? She's up there. Thank you, darling. Um, you see, my wife's been very supportive in the lead up to tonight. Um, she's also been quite anxious for me. Um, what if I forget my lines? What if I embarrass myself? More importantly, what if I embarrass her? Um, and she's been quite right to be anxious for me, because I've been very nervous too. Um, for maybe the last week I haven't slept properly at all, um, except for weirdly, last night I actually slept like a baby. I woke up four times and then I shat myself. <laughs> um, but each time I woke up, she was there, she got me back to sleep just like she would a baby, held me to her chest, rocked me gently, fed me a bottle, sang me a soothing song. She knows all my favorites, craft beer, Rage Against the Machine, amazing. Um, but after the unfortunate defecation incident, um, she did ask if I could pull out at the last minute. Um, <laughs> but she knows me, I'm competitive, I give everything 100%, never quit, never give up, never pulled out anything in my life. So uh, yeah, anyway, we've got two kids. Um, <laughs> We've got a three-year-old daughter and a one-year-old son. Um, and when my eldest, my daughter, was born, experienced something I've never experienced before. Me, white, middle-class, middle-aged, professional male. It's discrimination. Not just any normal discrimination, the worst type. Discrimination against me. You see, when my daughter was born, I became a dad. Um, and we've got this weird discrimination against dads in the UK. Uh, we just assume they're shit parents. Um, and that's sad. Most dads aren't. Um, and some dads are, and that's bad for them too, because they're allowed to get away with it. Um, but because of these assumptions, um, every little thing parent was considered amazing. Change your baby's nappy. Amazing. Don't get the milk mixed with the beer. World's best parent. Don't leave an eight-year-old daughter in the pub on her own. Could be prime minister. Um, but the discrimination goes further. Um, everything named after dads is shit. Dad jokes, shit jokes. Um, and that must be true. Mums are hilarious. We've all seen loose women. Um, <laughs> dad dancing, shit dancing. Because I assume that means mums are all amazing dancers. Um, can only be mums. We've seen Theresa May's dancing. She's famously not a mum. Um, dad bods, shit bodies. Even the ketchup named after dads is shit. No one's genuinely excited to see daddy's ketchup on the table. You go to a restaurant, you see Heinz ketchup on the table, you think, should be good. They've paid for the big brand. You go to a restaurant, you see Stokes ketchup on the table, you're thinking, mmm, this is going to be fancy. You go to a restaurant, you see daddy's ketchup on the table, probably in sachets, and you think, shit, check the, check the hygiene rating. And why am I in a porter cabin by the side of the motorway? Um, advertisers, particularly sort of guilty of this discrimination against dads, this is a genuine advert for Clorox, which is an American cleaning product. Um, much like dogs and other pets, New dads lack the judgment and fine motor skills required for parenting. I mean, wow. No better than a dog. I mean, that's rubbish, isn't it? I've got a dog, and he is not a good parent. He can't make a bowl. He won't get up in the night. His idea of babysitting involves literally sitting on the baby's face. Um, and I'd say the only sort of level of parenting we're on a level at is changing nappies. Uh, you see, I'm a bit squeamish about their contents, but he isn't. He's more than happy to dispose of the contents, normally orally. Um, this is another advert, this time for Huggies. We are so confident in Huggies, nappies, and wipes, we put them to the toughest test imaginable, dads. That's right, toughest test imaginable, dads. Not lions, not box jellyfish, dads. 
Well, that made me angry. You see, I don't think dads are the toughest test imaginable, so I put them to the test, and I've had the last laugh. It's actually revolutionized my life. No longer do I have to leave the bar to go to the toilet. <laughs> I don't even have to go to pub toilets at all if I don't want to. I am going to admit, the current trend for skinny jeans is not ideal. <laughs> but when cargo trousers come back into fashion, which they inevitably will, now the Spice Girls have reunited, I'm going to be laughing. Uh, unlike dads, mums have got some very different standards to adhere to. I don't know how many of you know this, but every year in the UK there's a Celebrity Mum of the Year award. Uh, it's sponsored by 3D Lipo. They are a company that specialize in tattoo removal, liposuction machines, and laser vaginal rejuvenation. So they are a company that are quite literally very well positioned to unnecessarily judge women. <laughs> Past winners of the Celebrity Mum of the Year award include Kerry Katona, she's won it twice, Katie Price, also a two-time winner, and third place last year was Katie Hopkins. So, like I said, I'm competitive. I want my kids to have an award-winning mother. Now, she doesn't know this. I mean, she will now, but she didn't. Um, I've been molding my wife into a potential celebrity mum of the year 2019. So, I want her to be like Katie Kerry and Katie, or the KKK as I call them. <laughs> First of all, I've been photoshopping her a secret past as a topless model. <laughs> Next, I've changed all our online groceries to Iceland, <laughs> making sure to order plenty of own brand Coke. <laughs> and finally, I've been penning racist diatribes in her name and sending them off to the Daily Mail. <laughs> so I think she's a shoe in We just need to work on the celebrity part. So my current plan is she's going to do this next year probably refute everything I say, become a celebrity, and then we'll have a Celebrity Mum of the Year. Thank you very much. I've been Tim. Have a great evening, and happy Diwali. Tim Cadman, ladies and gentlemen. So good. They're so bloody good!